my heart. You are indeed beautiful. Like flowers. The way he said it. You are sun. indeed beautiful. Like, oh, lovely. Okay, Argenti. Okay, oh, okay. Okay. I like Argenti and I want to do his quest. Oh, shoot, just. Another anomaly in this shining universe. A blooming splash of colors. You are truly beautiful. Uh, hmm? uh, uh, uh. A lady. Uh, a lady? I offer a sincere compliment. You're akin to a flower in winter. Oh? Uh, oh. Another beautiful soul. Uh, hey. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Argenti. I belong to the Knights of <gasps> Beauty. May I know your names? Kasha Silence. Did you catch it to the train? Indeed, and I extend my deepest apologies for doing so. Every the other I one was like, the don't do this. Hence my arrival on the Astral Express. Do it on purpose. Hi, Argenti. I'm March 7th. An honor. I was just explaining the significance of beauty to this foliage. Uh, pardon my, my abruptness, but I have a habit of asking questions. As fellow beings of this universe, are you acquainted with Idrilla the Beauty? Idrilla the Beauty? What the heck is that? Adrella? The Knights of Beauty travel from planet to planet, spreading the beauty's glorious reputation across the universe, so that every being may know of their existence. We strictly adhere to the commandments of our faith, tempering our physical forms and upholding our honor. Wait, I'm yes, here to help. Though not exclusively. Just as I extol the beauty in this foliage, what I anticipate is an encounter, a collision, an exchange of minds and philosophies. Um, what? Are you saying you're also beautiful? Do you doubt such an assertion? You need not, young lady. I am kind of good looking. You did just come up and I am kind of good looking. Both my words and actions come from the bottom of my heart. You are indeed beautiful. Like flowers. The way he said it. You are sun. indeed beautiful. Like, oh, lovely. Okay, Argenti. Okay, oh, okay. Okay. Young lady, now that you know something of the beauty, I wonder, can you resonate with this philosophy and place your trust in Idrilla? No. Sure. You sound confused, young lady. With all due respect, I fear you may still be grappling with this philosophy. Yet, agree with me out of kindness. An act of pure beauty in itself. I cherish different ideas. But judging from this situation, since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. I earnestly request a chivalrous contest with you. Should I be fortunate enough to triumph, I ask you to acknowledge Idrilla the beauty as the most peerless beauty of all. Do I have to? Have you ever seen the drill push? Do I have no, to? you do not have to. This is merely an unspoken rule for battles between knights. I apologize. We, the Knights of Beauty, hope to convince people through battle, not poetry. Forgive me for my lack of eloquence. Let's talk about this. He said I didn't have to. Why are you fighting? Then thinking, you know, we're fighting. Like, what? Communicating with others can be a most difficult endeavor. It is through action alone that we can convey our intent oh. faithfully. May you 
understand. Oh, oh. Rise to the challenge. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. The, the, the flesh wound. A flesh wound. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Rise to the challenge. Might be ten to your wounds. Rise to the challenge. He's got two health bars. What is this? Barrier. Barrier? So love tenacity. Enemy targets detected. I'll contain them. Take this. You won't get away. All right, here we go. Oh. oh. Oh, detailed overhaul. That hurt. Uh -huh. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Rise to the challenge. Time to show. You. Rise to the challenge. He, I mean, I guess it makes sense to battle. It's like you said we didn't have to. Now we do. a lot of damage. It gave us you a shield. Hey. You don't look so good. Well, listen, be okay. Oh, this is really cool. So he hits you. Imbued devotion. Commencing support. Inputting commands. Whew. Let's go. Rise to the challenge. The, the, the flesh wound. Rules are made to be broken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boom. Let's do it. He said, "Ah!" Behold the symbol of pure beauty. Ooh. Oh, a lot of damage, actually. Enemy targets detected. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, we need to get that part of him and gorgeous poor Kurt. Ouch. We had him. What are you doing? Sorry to interrupt. Whatever's happening here. <laughs> Whatever's happening. Forgive the interruption, but I just spoke with Himako. The situation is more urgent than we imagined. Thanks for tagging me out, Mr. Yang. I have to teach him a lesson. You're welcome. Just doing my job. Thanks for tagging me out. My deepest apologies, Mr. Yang. My concentration has been solely centered on my conversation with her. Now, it is only fitting to disclose the main reason for my presence here. To work jointly in resolving the crisis before us. Is I was the, piloting the one and only through the galaxy the, when I the discovered one and only is the name of it. an IPC worker who accidentally fell into a huge cave from which I saved him. Upon oh, saving Velate, I altered my flight course to accompany him to his original location. Consequently, I inadvertently ended up on the express's navigational trajectory. Who's Valetti? According to him, he is an IPC worker. I believe he's currently resting in a carriage. He is still in a state of shock. He swore to follow Adrilla, the goddess, after being impressed by what he saw during our adventure. Why did you re end the express? Follow Adrilla, the goddess. Thank you for coming. It'll be a first for the Express to work alongside the Knight's Beauty. What do we do now? Enjoy the present moment. 
Huh? And then? Continue to enjoy the present moment. Uh, that's all you can come up with. Looks like you're really here to make friends. You misunderstand. I must first wholeheartedly enjoy the red night of the universe before I can discover an inharmonious pitch. These two things are correlated. Once I discover the cause, I shall destroy it. Well, try not to take too long. Things could deteriorate at any moment. Uh, could you please go check on Velite? He Velite. looks uneasy. He's a guest of ours, after all. Yeah. This sounds more productive than this. Young lady, may I help you? I... You're currently enjoying the present moment. Argenti, I cannot. Uh, what is it? Here to cheer me up? Save your breath. Your intentions might as well be written on your forehead. I'm just a small-time IPC worker. That Argenti rescued me. I don't know anything, and I can't help you guys. I want to go home and have dinner. Once we're out of this jam. I heard you became a follower of Aeon of Beauty. Is that true? <laughs> Did Argenti tell you that? Definitely. Oh, that guy is unbelievable. Before you rescued me, he said something like, You must pledge to acknowledge Adrilla. The beauty has the most peerless beauty of all. Oh, he's he's uh, quite I crazy. I told him I'd marry her if he'd liked, as long as he got me out of that stinking cave first. <laughs> and he refused. I couldn't believe it. My life was on the line, so I just repeated after him. Adrilla, the beauty, etc. You, you get the picture. Then he corrected me. It's Adrilla, not Adrilla. Who came up with such an awkward sounding name? I'm a pencil pusher. What the heck do I know about the Eon of Beauty? The Eon. But of course, I repeated it again in order to survive. Adrilla the Beauty, the most peerless beauty of them all! <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Can't you be more positive? <laughs> do you think I like being negative? <laughs> My friend. This is what's known as falling prey to the grim reality of life. Understand? When I was young, I assumed my life would be like a novel. I wanted to be no. a pilot, flying through outer space, exploring the universe in a grand spaceship. <laughs> but then my parents told me I'd have to work for the IPC and make a bunch of money to fulfill my dreams. Oh no. Did you manage to make a bunch of money in the end? Does working for the IPC stop you from pursuing your dreams? Enough! This is a painful topic. Oh no. I gave up my unrealistic dream of becoming a pilot and worked for the IPC instead. I guess I'm pilot. living the life of a supporting character now. But after running into Argenti, I had an idea. Perhaps I could make some money with him and turn my life around. He's tall, handsome, and a knight. Oops. Packaged and marketed the right way, I'm sure he'll pique a lot of interest. I told him about my idea, that he could advocate for the beauty while also incorporating currency as a notion of beauty. That would allow him to preach more efficiently. He was very impressed. I'm planning to contact the marketing development department as soon as I'm off the express. He'll make a great IPC product spokesperson. And I can be his agent. Now, the question remains. Will this guy shine brighter as an image-focused idol? Or should we showcase his formidable talents and mold him into a powerful star? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's called facing reality, embracing it, and then conquering it. So when can I get off the express? I need you guys to solve this traffic jam problem ASAP. That's enough of your weird ideas come with us. Come help us. Uh, Don't use them. that tone. You're trying to guilt trip me, aren't Pretty you? Pretty please. Uh, all right. I have nowhere else to be. Let's go. Ah! Huh? What was that sound? Did someone scream? Uh-oh. Pom pom. What happened? knows the express inside and out it definitely wasn't the train is it possible that the jolt just now damaged the express did something manage to sneak in 
Do we know where the sound came from? It sounded like it came from the passenger cabin. Or the conductor's cabin. But those are in opposite directions. How about we go check our own rooms? I'll grab your phone about hey, this. Hey, don't scare me. I'm sure there's a scientific explanation for this. Right? Now's the time for action. Really? I'm gonna go check my room. If there's a problem, I'll let you know. Smurge has a point. Pom Pom will go check the conductor's cabin. your past the things you want to see to touch to know oh no i don't like this other your home family friends emotions what you love and what you despise ah! i'm the complete march 7th with all of your forgotten memories uh, who are you why do you look exactly like me okay <sighs> Why did you stop talking? Oh, what kind of creepy... March, March, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, my phone. Himeko, there's something really weird happening. I know. March, get out of there right now. But... Girl, don't play. March. March. Please reply. Have you left the room? Did something happen to March? Not good. I need you and Don Hung to check on March. I'll accompany you. Villate, you too. Villate, you too. Oh, it's a thing on the back of his shirt. It's the what? IPC on the jacket. All right, if things get dangerous, I'll hide behind you. Don't blame you, sir. I'm a pencil pusher. <sighs> it's an insect. It's, it's ugliness. The inharmonious pitch has surfaced. Ugliness it compels us to vanquish this dissonance. She probably tried to leave and it was like, no. Mitosis is warning. Mitosis is warning. That hurts. That hurts! Like, what is, 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 Inputting commands. Whoa. This is not. Let's good. make it quick. Take this. Ha! 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 Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. 696. And I'm no exception. And 2,500. <laughs>
Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I was like, this is not okay. I did not envision seeing true stings again. Huh? Yeah. There was a whole bunch of those bugs chasing me when Argenti found me in the cave. I was under the impression that I had successfully routed all of them. However, it appears that the stings continue to pursue us. Could it be? Velite, perhaps you still bear sting pheromones on your body. Yeah. Huh? Who? What is that? Is that bad? Dude, yes, I I've read about true stings in the data bank. They emit fibrous particles from their wings during flight, the inhalation of which can induce perceptual distortions and hallucinations. I I'm afraid March may have inhaled some of these particles. And that's why she saw another version of herself in the room. So that was just a hallucination? Huh. Why do I feel kind of disappointed? Wait, I thought hallucinations were supposed to be completely random. Why did I see an identical me? Did it do anything strange? It said it knew about my past. And then it stopped talking. I'm afraid that's not enough information for us to draw a conclusion. My concern is that numerous stings may have already infested the Express. Their elusive nature helps them stay in the shadows. But they may also be roaming freely. We have to prevent them from propagating. If not, oh, I don't want to see a bunch of marches roaming around the express. One of me is enough. Mm. No lie. We're on the same page. Nifty degree. Okay, let's see. Oh, can I swap out characters? No. Oh, shoot. All right, so we gotta go back into this. I hope we can do this fight. Oh, we just... Okay, cool. Thanks for the heal. Alright, here we go. We're gonna continue this quest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's got late and now my body's like back to this yawning now. Noise. Oh, so you can't tell people not to yawn because then we yawn. Ah. This isn't good. Evidence of a swarm there, is apparent. That yaw made my and head it looks like hurt. several eggs are on the verge of hatching. They're embryos for now, but their transformation into larvae could be imminent. And their growth may exceed our initial estimates. This is a race against the clock. Check around the express. <laughs> so we gotta take pictures? Look at my phonograph. This. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, it's not. Oh. Keep at it. That was definitely an accident. You discover an egg. Now and then, you wish for a world with less bewildering things. But the moment you discover there was a real chance of them being eaten, your sense of justice prompt you to take down the enemy. All things considered, even if you have no use for it, you can't let it benefit another party. All appears to be in order except for a small bunch of what is likely highlighted hair. Although you can't be completely sure there's something amiss with Miss Yang's hair. What are you up to? <laughs> huh? 
You're pretty convinced that the little sitting in front of you is real. Best to back away before it gets grumpy. There are zero eggs here. He said, what are you doing? There's one back there. Oh, Pom Pom has one. Because right, the Pom Pom's tail is immaculately groomed, clean, fluffy, and smelling nice, with no signs of anything out of the ordinary. You find out the impulse to reach over and feel it. Oh, wait. So, uh, oh, so this is what I'm taking a picture of. That was weird. Okay, you realize that the eggs here have started humming, creating a symphony of sorts, and it captivates you. You invariably notice that for some people, what they say sounds better than what they actually do. Driven by your sense of justice, you eradicated the eggs. Find a faster way to search. Nothing's wrong with the seat's red leather. You feel the urge to trace your fingers along the edge of the seat's depression. No one ever appreciates the weight these seats have to uphold. Stay alert. Now's not the time for relaxing. Let's check somewhere else. Under the car seats. You stare at the dark shadow cast by the car seat. Imagine an eye staring back. You start to panic and want to get away. Hmm. Nothing out of place here. You feel disheartened until you remember your duty to seek out the swarm. Time to search in another area. The plant in the corridor. Argenti insists it's a potted plant with the ability to think, prompting you to question, does it really have intellectual capabilities? You struggle to persuade yourself that this is nothing more than a typical potted plant, like any unusual trace and set apart from a regular flora. Yet, you can't shake the idea that the soil in the potted plant might actually be scrumptious chocolate powder. What is happening? We're sampling the next time what around. What are you doing? Right, what are you doing? Nothing out of the ordinary here. Maybe we should check the faraway cars. What do you think? Stay focused. You need to check every corner. Mind if I take it for a spin? This little gadget could be the next big thing in spaceship cleanliness. Even Argenti could put his name to it. I'll jot that down. Uh, let's carry on. March 7th room. March room is bright and pink. Nothing's out of the ordinary. You find yourself counting her fluffy animals. You still awake? Don Hong's room. <gasps> A knight and his bug knight. Nothing to see here. Hold on. Oh, she's stupid. You must be the creature that she mentioned. Does it bother you that people deem you cute? Cute. Believe me when I say that you are more than cute, my friend. You are a delightful ball of pure charm. I can't. He's so cute. He's so funny. I should have hit the record button. Actually, I'm going to start. And I'm going to leave it. Needless to say, it is an honor to encounter beings such as yourself. But I shall never give up my spiritual training. If this crisis cannot be averted, 
I shall die for the glory of the night. What's going on? Why is he chatting with these bugs? He don't know. Uh, I think he's also fallen into a hallucination. Is he seeing another him? I don't think so. I think he may be perceiving an unfamiliar presence. Well, let's go save him. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Um, bye, Lou. We're going to the store. I don't know if it's going to carry beings. over. Are you disciples? Uh, he looks beyond saving. <sighs> he could be in considerable danger. Let's proceed. So... It did work. Her her uh, her uh, special did go off. Enemy targets detected. Oh, these are weaker. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna have Payla focus on these, Payla and Bailu, and then we're gonna focus on these other ones.
So close, man. So freaking close. So freaking close. Let's make it quick. We got it. Well, we did it so much easier that time. Oh my gosh. Ben Gunnis did the two. If he did the three, it would have been a little, a little more soft. Oh gosh. I must apologize. This is hard. I cannot believe Can't, that such a like we're about to fight a really big one. Merely a hallucination. Its deceptive and threatening nature is much uglier than its appearance would suggest. You mentioned this thing transformed into an object of beauty, something that she once spoke of, but that you never personally encountered. <clears throat> yes, it was something she mentioned that I wanted to see in person. I see. This, together with the fact that March's hallucination claimed to know her past, suggests that these visions feed on people's subjective experiences and long-term sentiments. Ah in order to take the form of what they personally desire. So, in Argenti's eyes, Wababoos are a thing of beauty, but my past isn't something I'm constantly thinking about. I have plenty of other dreams. That's not how it works. The desire to know your past embodies purity itself, a thing of immense value. I wonder if the dying words of those ugly menaces can be trusted. As the saying goes, even an insect speaks kind words when death is near. Are you implying that the insect imparted you with a message prior to its demise? Is that real? What? Correct. Its final words were, Celebrate this superficial victory, for you will never be able to acknowledge the existence of the Omen. Uh, let's ignore the fact that you understand insect speak for now sentence oh, wow wait i think i understand when reading through the chronicles of interdimensional insects in the databank i came across a species that had only been described in records due to the lack of research samples the author gave it a tentative name giant sting this species can reach tremendous proportions and is big enough to swallow an entire star knot i believe the overlord Argenti mentioned could be referring to this colossal being. And we're... I think I understand. We are in the belly of the beast. It's... It, it's while the entire express. Please spare me. I'm not even tasty. Yes. That's my theory. Yikes. I see. That would explain what Velite and I experienced earlier. What do you mean? Did Velite mention that he was trapped in a dark and enormous cave when we first met? Now that I think on it, we did hear sounds akin to swallowing and other movements You're in his from the cave. mouth? Yikes. Yes, and your flight path happened to intersect with the Express's star rail, meaning There's a lot of weird we might sounds. have encountered the very same giant sting. Now, we need to see if we can prove the theory correct. You need to get out of there. That's what you need to focus on. What is that? That makes sense to sound to hear. It looks like our theory has already been confirmed. Let's talk to Mr. Ye. Something kills me there. Thank goodness, though. Oh, it's so quiet. Um, we can use items, so I can't replenish my energy. Someone say something. After meeting all of you. Um. You, I, Argenti, can die without regrets. 